Hello and welcome to Star Wars Obsessed. I'm Richard and it's mail call. Troy Patterson from Alabama, the same person who sent me the retro collection Boba Fett, has sent me a vintage X-Wing. The white X-Wing. I have not touched a vintage white X-Wing since the 70s or the 80s. But I totally missed out on getting the white X-Wing. I got the gray one. And Troy happened to come upon an, a white X-Wing and he just so kindly gave it to me. So I'm gonna take it out of this box. It's gonna be, it's gonna be awesome. awesome. Moments later. What? It's in pieces. <laughs> what the? I'm kidding. I knew it was gonna be in pieces. The fact that I am holding an original white X-Wing just fills me with joy because I never thought I would get one. My attitude at first was, well, I have the gray one, so wh why do I need the white one? Well, it's the original. It's the first one that came out. And, and if I really want to complete my vintage Kenner collection, I should get this white one. Well, I have it. Here are the parts. So here's the bottom part, and it looks like all the electronics are intact. He sent it to me not knowing if it actually works. So here's the top part. It's very yellowed, very dirty. Stickers totally coming off. And here's the battery compartment lid and the back part. It looks pretty good, nice and sturdy. Here's one part of the wing. Also looks good, very dirty. I'm gonna have to do a lot of cleaning. Stickers look pretty bad. I'm probably gonna have to get some um, reproduction stickers. Unfortunately, this, as you can see, is broken. So hopefully I'll be able to repair this. I've seen some restoration videos that use the plastic weld. Hopefully it'll work on these. Or maybe I just got a bad batch of the plastic weld. Maybe I need to get another bottle, see if that'll work. Not done yet. Also, the front cone, very yellowed, very dirty. And the R2-D2, everything looks pretty much here. This is gonna have to be clean. I think it's gonna have to be taken apart. The spring looks very rusted. Okay, it came with one of the guns. Very cool. Also, the metal bar that holds the wings together is in here. And four of the screws. I'm pretty excited. This is gonna be a project. I'm gonna do a restoration. I've done a few. I've restored an AT-AT. I've restored this, Darth Vader's Star Destroyer. I restored an electronic R2-D2. This is gonna be fun. I like doing these doing these restorations and I'm hoping that I can do a really good job. I've seen in one restoration video where the restorer removed all of these, all of the electronics. He had to drill in here to remove everything. Am I gonna do that? Yeah. You know what? Uh -uh. I will somehow get all the dirt out of this, spray it out, use Q-tip, whatever, to get all this dirt out. And I'll use the retro bright on this part to, to get nice and bright and shiny. But all the other ones, all these parts like this, I will submerge them in water and clean them as much as I can. Then use the peroxide treatment with UV light. All of these parts. So unfortunately, I did not record a proper ending. But I want to thank Troy Patterson for this wonderful gift of a vintage X-Wing and I will record a restoration video soon. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. You can follow Star Wars Obsessed on Instagram and Facebook. See you on the next Star Wars Obsessed. The retro collection...